Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be seeing if you can use the NEMA 11 stepper motor underwater uh, in salt water. As you may already know, brushless motors can operate underwater, uh, so I'm going to see if a NEMA 11, uh, which is a stepper motor, can also do so. So let's begin. Here I've got an easy driver wired up to it, so I'll start the rotation. And in order to see the rotation better, I'm going to put on some tape on the end of the motor. Uh, so just a minute. Okay. Here's the tape on the motor, and I am now going to begin the uh, test. So, starting the easy driver, and the motor starts rotating. I understand that this motor will probably get destroyed, so it is one of the cheaper versions, but it is useful for this test. So, starting by putting it in. And letting it run. The salt water is exactly the same as it is uh, in the ocean, roughly by mass, 97% uh, water and 3% salt. You can see that air bubbles are escaping uh, from the motor, showing that water is flowing inside, uh, which is good for deep sea purposes, I, as I plan to use this motor at extreme depths, uh, so it is good that the water has gone into it, and that it is still working. I see that the motor is not planning to die anytime soon, so I'm going to put a watch here just so we can see the time that has gone by. After 30 to 40 minutes of running the motor, uh, it was still running perfectly just like new, so I stopped the test because the salt water seemed to have no effect on it. The reason I previously mentioned that it's good that there's water going into the motor is because in amateur deep sea applications such as a robotic arm, uh, you'd want to have oil or salt water inside of the motor uh, if you're using a stepper motor. That way the pressure on both sides of the housing is equal and it won't implode or break the motor. And uh, if it can work at uh, a meter's depth with salt water inside of it, then it'll work pretty much at any depth uh, since pressure will not affect it. Okay, so finally I've opened up the stepper motor. Uh, I can see that most of the water has already drained out, as you can see on the table. Uh, but there has definitely been water on the inside, uh, everything is completely soaked. Uh, the oil, I can still feel some oil residue on it. And here I am just removing the main motor shaft. Um, this seems just like a normal one, as though it's brand new, I don't see any difference uh, with it. Just rotates just as freely. Uh, so this part's fine. And in fact, all of the copper cables, they, they seem pretty shiny, so there's been pretty much no corrosion taking place. Taking a further look inside, nope, all, all, of, the, all of the copper cables are completely shiny. So what I'll do now is reassemble the motor and try it out without the water. I've reassembled the motor now. Uh, I haven't tried it on the inside, uh, so we'll see whether it works uh, with some salt water residue on it. So again, the tape to see the rotation, and I'm just going to zoom in, and let's, gi uh, let's give it a go. So, another 9 volt battery. After running the stepper motor for a bit more, I came to the conclusion that uh, stepper motors will in fact work in salt water in the short term. Uh, so perhaps a couple dozen hours, maybe less, uh, similarly to brushless motors. However, uh, of course, at some point, they will start to rust and degrade, and uh, the salt water inside will start corroding the uh, copper copper coils. So uh, you may, if you want to use it in the long term, you may want to invest in an oil-filled stepper motor. But since I'm not going to be using it for too long, uh, perhaps only several hours, it is actually cheaper to use these uh, mo cheaper stepper motors, normal stepper motors, uh, that you'll dispose of later than uh, buying a more expensive sealed stepper motor.